we have to reassure citizens of efforts towards a clean and transparent government. No citizen has to doubt the integrity of the state in the administration of tenders and whether those contracted for projects are qualified to implement and complete the work they are contracted for and that the tendering process is open and fair. The Gauteng Provincial Treasury believes institution building and enhancing transparency in government accounting and procurement processes are the only lasting solutions to the problem of corruption. To enhance the openness and transparency of provincial government processes, Provincial Treasury and the Department of Transport have agreed to pilot an open process around selected tenders in this financial year. It will involve supporting bidders to comply with documentary requirements prior to the deadline for the tender, screening those sitting in the departmental acquisition committees for possible conflicts of interest, publicizing companies that bid for these tenders, introducing independent compliance audits of the evaluation processes prior to the awarding of the tenders, and publicizing who has won these tenders. The purpose of this pilot exercise is to develop a model for open tendering by Gauteng Provincial Departments that we will take to the Provincial Executive Council for consideration and adoption. I also want to make it clear that I expect my officials to tackle the late payment of service providers with renewed vigour. On Monday, I met all of the officials responsible for the processing of supplier payments both in the Gauteng Department of Finance and Gauteng Treasury to devise a plan to eradicate this challenge. Firstly, we are setting up what we call a, a vendor self-service platform. This is an electronic platform that can be accessed by all current and prospective GPG suppliers to send in invoices and communicate directly with us about non-payments. Normally what happens is that they would be communicating via the departments, whereas we would be responsible for, pay for paying and for tracking payments. Secondly, we'll improve on our existing invoice and payment tracking system to identify and elevate problem areas for rapid decision making. And thirdly, we will work with departments on further simplifying their payment and approval processes.